हेलो एंड नमस्ते टू एवरीवन माय सेल्फ अतुल स्वामी अगेन वेलकम्स यू टू आवर चैनल कैटेपिलर म्यूजिक व्हिच इज डेडिकेटेड टू शेयर सम सिंपल एंड बेसिक फैक्ट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड सम म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अ फ्यू थिंग्स ऑफ एन एकोस्टिक गिटार दिस इज एन एकोस्टिक गिटार इट इज नॉन इलेक्ट्रिक गिटार देर इज नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पॉइंट एंड the basic difference in between an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar is that in electric guitar we need an amplifier we need electricity and then we need amplifier to magnify the sound that comes with the vibration of these strings whereas in acoustic guitar this hollow box you can see this hole here and this is a hollow box this amplifies this sound which comes by the vibration of these six strings and uh, let's see a few basic parts of this guitar friends this is the bench where six strings are being mounted on the board this is a hollow board and these are the six strings this is string number 1 which is the thinnest one string number 2 little thicker string number 3 even thicker string number 4 definitely more thicker string number 5 more thicker and finally string number 6 the thickest one friends after this neck here comes the six keys number 1 first key where first string gets tied up key number 2 where second string gets tied up key number 3 where third string gets tied up key number 4 for fourth string key number 5 for fifth string and key number 6 for sixth string it is up to you if you want to tie string number 6 to this this or this key or string number 1 to this this or this key it is all up to you friends these are called frets this is fret number 1 fret number 2 and so on and these are the bars that you can see the placing of these bars actually dictate the accuracy of notes this is the last but not least uh this is what we call pick or pluck drum this is used to play the guitar and uh, sometimes we can also play with only our hand and we don't need this pluck drum so these are the basic things about the guitar and uh, let's move on we really need to understand how to tune our own guitar uh definitely you know one day or the other we are going to break the string and we go to the market we fix it up and then we really come up with a challenge how much tight or loose we shall keep it because technically that is the tuning tuning is how much tight or loose is going to be your string number 1 and then 2 and then 3 4 5 and 6 if we understand how much tight or loose we shall keep all the strings in respect to one another that is all about tuning and once we tune it we can play the guitar that's the benefit of tuning so here we're going to learn how we can tune our guitar friends before we get down to tuning of the guitar we really need to come up with one very important lesson and that important lesson is how to represent hindi notes in english as you can see on the screen sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa in hindi we use these vyanjans and how do we represent them in english C D E F G A B and then comes C of the next octave. Sa is represented by C, Re is represented by D and similarly Ni is represented by B. Uh friends in this respect the six strings are allotted one note one swar when we are not touching the strings when they are in this open condition 
and if we play string number one, it is supposed to give a sound of E, E for elephant. String number two, B, B for boy or bat. String number three, G, Gujarat. String number four, D for Delhi. String number five, A for America. And string number six, the thickest one, is going to give a sound of E for elephant of the previous octave. If these six strings are tuned respectively to one another E, B, G, D, A, E then it is going to be a tuned guitar. If we call it in Hindi I'll definitely have to read these are going to be Ga, Ni, Pa, Re, Dha, Ga Ga, Ni, Pa, Re, Dha, Ga If it is like this, then it is going to be a tune guitar. Let's try it out. Right? I just played Sari Gama Padha Nisa because it is tuned in that manner. Now, this is already tuned. What about if this is not tuned? So let's untune it. Uh, so friends, uh, here I have done the job. Now this guitar is totally untuned. Let me demonstrate that. Um, nobody can play any tune, any musical harmony on this uh, guitar right now. What we need, need to do right now is to tune it up. Now tuning the guitar can be done in a couple of ways. Number one, which is probably the most famous of all, is by downloading some tuning app in your mobile phone. You just put your mobile phone close to your guitar and then switch it on and play your string number one, two, three, four, five and six. With the help of some green light or red light or some needles, it is going to tell you that when your string number one is tuned and similarly the sixth one. I would rather do it the other way. Uh, I avoid using this uh, tuner help because whenever I have tuned my guitar uh, on standard tuning, I realized that strings get so tight, they get so tight that a lot of times, you know, they start giving a lot of pain in my fingers. Number one reason, I want to avoid uh, some pain in my fingers. Of course, uh, you know, we are not really afraid of any pain later on. But initially when, uh, you know, some student is learning, um, it's a big, you know, challenge. It's a really big challenge to keep practicing with, you know, pain, your paining fingers. So that's my reason number one. Now, reason number two is when we tighten up all the strings to that level, they lose their age pretty fast. Probably a set which can be used for six months or eight months or probably for an year, um, you will really have to replace that after a month or two. And my reason number three is, you know, the neck, neck of the guitar, a lot of times you might have seen it bends. It bends uh, maybe, you know, during rainy days or whenever there is a lot of moisture in the air. It, it happens and especially happens when the strings are extremely tight. That's why a lot of times you have, uh, you must have heard that, you know, after playing the guitar, you just loosen it up. So to avoid these three things, I tune guitar according to my own octave. This is the fourth advantage that you get, right? With the whatever octave you feel comfortable, you enjoy guitar playing, you can tune it up. So let me show you how do I tune. Number one, what we're going to do is listening very carefully to string number one, we will tighten it up to a level where we feel comfortable and we don't break it. That's it. Now I don't want to tighten it up any further. And second string fifth fret is extremely loose. 
So I'm going to make it tight. Second string, fifth fret shall be equal to first string open. Now, similarly, according to the table, second string open is equal to third string, fourth fret. Very loose right now. Approximately tuned up. I should definitely invest another 5, 10, 15 minutes in you know tuning it very finely, which I would really highly encourage to everyone. But in this video, certainly I have got a time constraint and I can't do it. So, friends, today we understood a few basic things of an acoustic guitar. How we can tune it sitting any place and we don't need any internet to tune it. And certainly in our next videos, we will come up how to play filmy songs and sargams on guitar and harmonium and on some other instruments as well. Friends, we really want to say thanks to all the people who have subscribed our channel and all those who have not yet subscribed, please do press the subscribe button so that we definitely get an encouragement and if you have anything to share or you want to ask anything, please do write in the comments section. Please be safe in these Corona days, keep distance and take good care of yourself. Namaste.